Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing the June 2022 card kit of the month called Party Hat and Streamers. And so far I haven't really looked at much of it except I did take out the die cut shapes. I know sometimes they're called ephemera. So I, I took that out because I wanted to show what I do when I unbox the ephemera pieces so I can see them clearly. So I take these two shallow boxes. They're um, cases from Apple. I think it was from my dad's iPad case and I was at their house once and I was thinking, you know, that's a perfect little tray and why not reuse it instead of throwing it away? So um, what I do is I take all the ephemera pieces out and I put them um, on top of each other. So there's two of everything and I've laid it out and typically I kind of decide what goes with what, but when I laid this out, I just thought that everything kind of goes together. So I, I just spread it out so I can see. And then when I'm working with cards, I can move these around on my desk. I can stack them on top of each other. I can move them to the side and have my clear workspace. And when I'm ready, I can just pull them over. So I did just want to show you that. I mean, you really could use any cardboard and make shallow trays like this, or um, I think you can find, um, what is it called? Some clear trays on Amazon that are probably fairly cheap or at some kind of organization store. But let's get into the rest of the kit. So, um, sorry if it's loud. I'm just gonna take it out. So we're all set. Typically I do voiceovers on my videos, but I wanted it to be a completely clear reaction. Slide this out. Oh. Okay. Well, these are just cute. My goodness. Okay, so we have, I think these are foam. Yes, there's foam underneath and there's little pom-poms on top. And I recognize the pattern from one of the ephemera pieces. A few of those hats would match. So that might be potential cards. Very interesting. Beautiful. I suppose we should look at this. Okay, so the die is a hat. Lovely. That hat looks like you could change the colors and it could be really for any anyone. And it looks really easy to assemble. Huh. Okay. Yeah, so there's nine dies, so the hat's only two pieces. That looks great. You get to make a pom-pom. That's really cool. Okay, I'm excited about that. Here are the dies. Okay. I suppose I could just look on the sheet, but okay, there's the hat that must cut out the... Oh, so it pops up. Okay, neat. And that's for the pom-pom, I think. And this is for the fringe on the bottom. All right. And we have make, make a wish. Very appropriate for a birthday. And little flowers. Lovely. We can always use flowers. I like that the card kits are very heavy on the florals because you can use florals on so many different cards like birthday, um, sympathy, hello, thinking of you. So, always could use a die. And gold sequins, hello, adorable. I, I love that they are now doing two different sizes of the sequins. They have the little ones and the big ones. So, that's kind of nice to play around with the size difference. So, I'm glad that they did that again in June. And we have a stamp set. Lovely. Okay, so we have... Lots of sentiments. We have woo, yay, birthday, celebrate. I wish I was there to celebrate with you. Oh, that might, that's a good one. Hey, birthday girl. Yeah, I noticed a lot of the ephemera was girl, so that, that might be making its way into a card. Wonderful people. Okay, lovely confetti. Okay, looks great. This stamp I definitely will be using on some kind of a scrap cake. Hopefully I remember that when I go to make my cards. I have to. That's just adorable. Okay. Then we have the chipboard stickers. Okay. Two-sided. Pretty. 
very feminine, kind of girly. Oh, I love a cat. Any of the animals. The one time they had like a squirrel and a hedgehog. Last month they had koalas and kookaburras. Fun. Okay. And then we have these, what do they call these technically? Puffy sentiments. Oh, of course. They're puffy sentiments. Okay. I do like that they are different colors and different fonts. There's that capital kind of bold. And then they have the kind of scripty handwriting. Beautiful. And of course, the envelopes and card bases. You can always use those, even though I use more than 10. 10 is a great place to start. And then Oh, okay, they put these together this time. There's the foam squares and the double-sided adhesive, which we need all the time. Pretty sure from every kit, I definitely use up all of my foam. I don't always use up all of my double-sided adhesive, but it doesn't go bad. It's not like a gallon of milk or something. <clears throat> Okay, then we we'll go over the paper next, and they always put nine pieces of cardstock. Yay! There's a gold. I love the gold. Beautiful. Gold, mirrored cardstock, and okay, it looks like they have some rainbow colors, which is perfect for birthday cards. If we're going to make colorful cards, we need some colors. Wow. I love that pink. I'm so glad they put a black in as well. I use black a lot when I layer and if I'm using black ink I think it looks really nice to have black cardstock somewhere. Not always but sometimes so that's a really great variety and I can always turn this white one or really any of them into card bases. But typically what I do with this paper that comes into the kit is I put it into fourths and I have a little basket here that I put on my desk and I just pull it out when I need to find a color. So if I'm looking for a color, let's say I'm working with, I know this is from last month, but I know, shocking. If I'm looking for something for this, I'll just pull this out and think, okay, I could use pink. I could use green. Mm, wrong shade of green. And I just kind of go through and see what, what looks best. And if I can't decide on two, I might pull from this to make the letters. So I find this really helpful to have on hand, and I like that so much, I'm going to keep that together on my desk. So I will be most likely quartering these sheets and turning this white one into a card base since it's nice and thick. And I saved the best for last, the pattern paper. It is my absolute favorite part of all of the kits. I love pattern paper and I refuse to hoard it. I know. Sorry, just gonna take that out. I always look at packaging like this for possible shaker cards. Sometimes there's a hole. This one has a hole in it. I'm sure it has something to do with the way that it's packaged in warehouses or something. But there are some <clears throat> pieces of plastic like this, acetate I think it's called, acetate, that you could use for shaker cards or windows. I mean technically you could use this if you just cut this out. So. I will hoard these, <laughs> not pattern paper, because I want to use the pattern paper because it's very pretty. Okay, and I'm just gonna see. Okay, yes, they are doing this again, which I really appreciate. They're putting the same paper together next to each other. So it's um, the same pattern together and not one of everything, and then halfway through, start the pattern again. So that's nice. So we have florals, which match the florals that are in the ephemera pack. We have colorful candles, 
which remind me of the stamp set. We have balloons. There's ephemera of balloons. There's these little asterisks, which are fun. People having a party. There's little people in the kit, so that might be interesting. I think they're wearing birthday hats, so it's all about the birthday in this time. Ooh, I like watery, dreamy looking papers. We have the hearts, hearts with the rainbows, ooh, beautiful cakes, and some stripes, and solid flowers, I like that. That would look really good with a black background, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm saying with, um, I'll just grab a black scrap here from my, you kind of see how that works, I don't know works for my brain. We have teeny little florals that are polka dots. Nice. Ooh. Happy B day. I can always use birthday cards. I don't know about you, but definitely need birthday cards. This is gorgeous. Reminds me of my grandma in a good way. And this is kind of like the blue one, but it's Pinky. I wonder if it's the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same, just different color. Interesting. <clears throat> I love texty cards like this. Really fun. And peachy. Ooh, the candy and sunglasses I also saw ephemera pieces for, so that might be going together in a card. And it finishes with green polka dots. Gorgeous. Okay. Well, now that I've looked through this all the way, and not just at the ephemera, I'm really excited to start making. So, you can come back and uh, see me finish this off with <laughs> some cards. I don't know how many I'm going to be making yet, but I definitely know it's more than 10. So, we'll see you in my next video. Bye!